how and when to place a plantar fascial groove into an orthotic. We might do this if the orthotic is pressing into the arch of the foot, causing arch pain. We would take this action to provide some relief to the fascia in the foot. Use the windlass test or jacks test to check for a tight fascia. Start by dorsiflexing the hallux and assess the tightness of the fascia in the foot as you can see in the video. Once you've dorsiflexed the hallux you'll need to measure the amount of drop. Find the highest point of the arch on the patient's foot. Use a measuring instrument to be able to measure the amount of drop at the highest point of the arch. In this instance, 7 millimetres is the amount of plantar fascial drop. Mark out and draw a line approximately 1 centimetre from the medial aspect of the longitudinal arch. The line should be the full length of the arch. However, when you're making the groove, you'll only take the material away from the highest point of the arch. Here the technician is marking the area that needs to be removed once you start the grinding process. You can use a simple Dremel styled hand grinder to remove the material. The technician is concentrating on the highest part of the arch and removing that material and now is checking the depth to ensure that he doesn't to remove more than that which is required. Continue removing the material and checking the depth. Once you have done this, you need to blend the drop off into the rest of the orthotic so it'll be comfortable for the patient. And you can see the technician now just uh, tidying up the groove and also blending it into the orthotic. A bench grinder can also be used to cut the plantar fascial groove into the orthotic. And here you can see the technician grinding the, the groove just the same way as he's using the, the Dremel but now he's using a bench grinder. All the principles remain the same. We need to check the depth of the, uh, the groove. We need to make sure that we take enough out of the arch of the orthotic so that it's comfortable for the patient and gives relief. Blending the groove into the orthotic is done by using a medial to lateral movement. You can see here the technician is using that movement to just blend the base of the groove into the rest of the orthotic so that it's comfortable for the patient. If you find this difficult on the grinder, you can go back to using the Dremel at this point uh, as it is a little easier to use on this part of the orthotic. If you've done this correctly, you'll see a distinctive drop-off on the orthotic which gives the relief to the fascia. A simple option is to use a heat moulding orthotic in which you can use a stiff metal object to create the fascial groove.